This is a condensed problem walkthrough from our live streams. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. This is problem 2956. Find common elements between two arrays. You are given two zero index integer arrays, nums1 and nums2, of sizes n and m, respectively. Consider calculating the following values. The number of indices i such that 0 is less than or equal to i, which is less than n, and nums1 in, at index i occurs at, occurs at least once in nums2. The number of indices i such as 0 less than or equal to i less than m, and nums2 at index i occurs at least once in nums1. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't understand a single thing. The thing is, we have to uh, finish this problem up before five minutes, under yeah. five minutes, right? And uh, uh, I'm down to go. Ready? Are you ready? All right, go for it. Go. Okay. Okay. Um, what are you thinking? Uh, well, we I'm doing think. a for loop. For okay. in. No. Okay. So we think in the spot. We think on the spot. For in. So I'm doing a for loop. I want to loop through the nums one array and nums two and figure out which ones we have. Huh. It just like a loop do n squared first. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. loop through nums one. Nums and then in brain in nums one. And then and we no You add it to a I, dictionary? Uh I'll, it's cause we do a dictionary, but I'm not really good with dictionaries. I think that I feel we're gonna lose time doing the dictionaries. It oh oh wait. You could compare you could loop through nums two and compare if I in nums two is in nums one, then then improve the counter. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. And then you just run another loop. Like you don't have to do a nested one. Yep, 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 yep. Right. But the thing is, is if there's repeated if there's repeated numbers, it's gonna keep improving the counter. That we need to figure out a, a way to stop the counter. We can do Boolean. We can do return true and if true add one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, it would just say if I am. Wait, no. I mean, if it, I is in nums two, no, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. We, it's good. It's good. Cause it's just gonna check if it's in there. It's not gonna check how many. Times yeah, but if it there's a in there. If, oh, okay. Yes, yeah, yes. Nums, I think you're fine. Yeah, you get me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, think we're fine. good. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Okay. Can so we did this one, and we have to do. Can we just return a dictionary? Um, oh, another dictionary, a list. A list, maybe? No, like it'll, look, it'll be bracket, it'll be bracket. Uh, bracket, bracket? Yeah. All right, let's, let's run test it. it. Let's test it. Okay. Here. No way. All right, all righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. All righty. Hey, bro, that was a good one, bro. That was a good one. Dude. All right. I was so nervous. That was good. That was good. Hey, bro, don't be nervous. I'm the one typing. I should be nervous. I was I nervous know. at you typing. What? What do you mean? You're sh <laughs> um, so just to go over it, we loop through the first array, which is nums1, and we check if it's in nums2. If it is in nums2, we just add plus one, right? So we keep track of how many numbers repeat. Well, how many numbers in nums1 repeat in nums2? Pretty much the same thing is here, but we just switch up with nums2 with nums now, because now we're checking the numbers in nums2 on number, on how many numbers in nums2 repeat on numbers on the list of nums1. And we keep a counter and we return its values. The value of how many numbers we repeat on nums2. First counter, how many numbers in nums2 repeat on nums1. Second counter. So if you guys have any other solutions that you want to put it, because this speed run, we basically did, we forgot about everything. We just did what we had to. If have better solutions, put them on the chat, put them on the uh, comments. And we'll look at it for sure, for sure. If you made it to the end and love to support us, please hit the like button. If you want to catch us live, turn on the bell notifications to be the first to watch. Don't want to watch a full stream? Don't worry, click here to see another walkthrough of a liquid problem from our streams.